Hey y'all, coming to you from uh, Scotty D TV headquarters, my uh, living room. A lot of exciting stuff has happened over the last couple of days, and I just wanted to bring you up to speed. Um, you know I shot that 2010 Trans Am, and I just absolutely uh, think that's one of the coolest cars on the street. I think, it's, I think that if I had the money, I'd have one right now. Um, but I don't have the money, so... Um, I don't have one right now, but I still love the car. But anyway, so um, it, it didn't get a ton of views right there at the beginning, so I wanted to go out and figure out a little more about the car. You know, I mean, I didn't know who made it. I didn't know, uh, I didn't even know if it was 2010 or 2011. They said 2010 or 2011, but I don't remember. There again, it was early in the morning. It was loud out there, you know, and I was losing my mind. So um, anyways... Uh, I thought it was a Kevin Morgan, and uh, I emailed them. They said, no, that's not our car. Um, we think it's a gearhead um, car. So I got online, and I researched that a little bit, and I found this company, Gearhead. I emailed them on Saturday. 45 minutes later, they were like, oh, yeah, that's our car. It's pretty bad, isn't it? And I was like, oh, <laughs> bad's not the word for it, my friend. So, um, anyways, we emailed back and forth a couple of times, and I head out to do my cruising. Uh, car show on Saturday night. So I get out there. While I'm out there, I get an email from a guy. It's the owner of, of that Trans Am that I shot. And he lives up in Kentucky. So we email back and forth. Well, he's going to have the car in Pigeon Forge about an hour from me um, next month. And he's going to give me some time to shoot a feature video on the car. So uh, at that point, I haven't even slept. You know, I'll be honest with you. I'm so excited about this. I can't, I can't hardly sit still. I can't think of anything else. Seeing that car again in a day and be able to spend time with it and really smoke it over and not being overwhelmed by what it is. You know, last time I was just, my, my, my mind was blown, man. That car is just way cool. So, um, as we're going through, as we're going, um, going on, you know, uh, today I go to work and I get a, uh, email from uh, Courtney, who says that uh, she's seen a video on uh, my YouTube channel, and that her dad's the one that designed the car, you know, and she gave me some facts and figures and stuff like that on it, and told me to give her a call. So I had to work all day today, and I didn't get a chance to call, and yeah, obviously I want to make contact with him, personal contact with him, but uh, so I'm sitting here tonight, and I get an email. Well, it's from her dad. I guess it's from her dad. It's from Mike, and uh, I just take, he's the one I've been communicating with. But anyways, um, he sent me an unreleased, never before seen by anybody outside of Gearhead Products, their new car that's coming. They're working on them. They got, uh, I think they got two of them done. They got ten more coming. They're working on ten more. It's the same Trans Am, but it's a convertible. Now, I'll be honest with you. I'm not that big of a convertible fan, but this is one bad convertible. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are. Um, so, as ecstatic as I was, as, as if the night couldn't get any better. An email follows 10 minutes behind that one saying, oh, yeah, we're working on some T-top version ones, too. <sighs> Folks, don't be surprised if I don't, you know, if, if I show up and the Mustang's gone, you know I'm on my way to Indiana to buy one of these Trans Ams. I mean, this car is keeping me awake at night. I just, I mean, it's just, they did it right. Chevrolet screwed around so long, bringing the Camaro out, took forever, got beat by Ford, Chrysler, and everybody else. And then we got some American ingenuity going on out in Indiana, and they come up, they, they build a Trans Am that just absolutely blows it out of the water. So, it's a still. Um, I'm working on video. Y'all know I'm working on some video. But it's a still, and I'm going to try to incorporate it into this video so you can all see it. But... Um, it just got me so excited I couldn't believe it. So just remember, no matter if you uh, go buy Hot Rod Magazine, doesn't matter if you turn on speed, doesn't matter if you uh, Hot Rod Garage, uh, you go anywhere on the internet, you will not see this car. The only people that have seen this car are people that come to Scotty DTV and people that are personally connected with Gearhead Products in Indiana. So I sure hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Y'all have a good night. Thanks.